does seem out of the norm. Our chief meteorologist, Jeff Baradelli, joins us with more on that. And Jeff, I understand you've crunched some numbers mm -hmm. and you have a look at how rare this flooding event really is. It is a very rare event, and it's not so much because of the amount of rain, it's because a lot of the rain fell in a very short period of time. So I want to show you this map behind me to show you how much rain fell. And we see this white outline that's generally 12 to 20 inches. On average, it was about 15 to 16 inches of rain, and that makes it a 1 in 200 year event. Now, that doesn't mean it's only going to occur once every 200 years. It means in any year, it's about a 0.5% chance that it happens. But we know because the climate is warming, these type of events are happening a lot more. The atmosphere is warmer. It can hold more moisture. It can dump heavier rain. So I called one of the world's uh, leading scientists on the connection between a warming climate, warmer waters, warmer air, and the amount of rain that tropical cyclones, tropical storms can produce, and this is what he told me. Because water temperatures are about four degrees above normal in the eastern Gulf of Mexico at record levels, he says his best estimate for the extra rainfall was 40% more rainfall in tropical storm Debbie as it passed by because the water was just so warm in the eastern part of the Gulf of Mexico. So 